In this video, we're going to show you how to create magnets, fridge magnets, uh, for example, this gingerbread. I'd like to turn into a magnet for my fridge. Very simple, very easy, not complicated at all. So let's go ahead and get started. Found this image online, just a simple gingerbread man. I will be taking out the leg here and just leaving just the body. So what we're going to do is first we need to convert this uh, image into a SVG. And if you watched my last video, we're going to head over to our favorite site, png to svg.com. And we're going to go ahead and upload that file. So I just got to find which one. There it is. And it's already set the one because I used this just earlier. I want to do generate. And looks good. So we're going to go ahead and hit download SVG. We have our SVG here, and now we're gonna file, uh, fire up uh, Fusion 360 here. Close down the web browser, and we're gonna go to the front view, and we're gonna insert and insert SVG. Go to insert from my computer, and we're gonna go look for that file. There it is, and we're gonna hit open, and click anywhere on the plane and it imported our file. From here I'm going to go ahead and remove the leg since I'm already in the sketch. So I'm going to hit trim tool and just kind of start erasing here. So you can drag and press uh, left click and hold and drag and delete or you can click each individual line. We're just going to do the drag. And, uh, perfect. Now that we're done we're going to hit finish sketch and we have our sketch right here. So what we need to do first is extrude our sketch. Um, so the magnets that I have are 20 millimeters by three millimeters. So they're three millimeters deep. So if I do that, that will cause it to go all the way to the color. So like uh, the brown, and it's not gonna have a lot of backing to that part. So with my magnets, I actually like to do them five millimeters of solid color. Or backing uh, with the magnets the 20 by 3 millimeter magnets so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna extrude and we're gonna do negative 5 because we want our sketch to be on the top and we're gonna do new component and I like to name this back just because in the future if I ever want to change that the backing to be any other color I can easily do that in bamboo slicer all right, and now since we've created a new component, we have to re-enable our sketch here. And now that we can see our sketch, and we're gonna go ahead and color this in. So, um, let's go ahead and do that. And what we're gonna do here, let's think how we wanna do it. So we want the main body to be brown. So we're gonna do that, and we're gonna do one millimeter of color up, not negative, but positive one. And we're going to do new component and hit OK. And we're going to name this brown. All right. And now what we're going to do is these wiggly lines. And we're going to want to make these white. Just because we have no solid image to go off of, I'm just going off of my basic knowledge of gingerbreads. All right. And we're extrude one millimeter, new component. And we'll name that white. And we're going to make the buttons over here red. Extrude one millimeter. New component. And red. And for the mouth here, we can actually make this. Um, I'm going to make this part white. And then the inside red. So what I can actually do is go back to my extrusions here. And see how this one's white. So if I easily, if I forget something, I can easily go back and do it. So I can double click on this, and then I can hold Shift on my keyboard and click, and that will automatically join it back to those extrude uh, extrude that I did on the other white parts. Hit OK, and now that's part of the white here. As you can see, very easy, quick to do. Instead of having a bunch of different white ones. All right. So we want the middle to be red. So same thing. We can go back here. Double click, click on what we want to be red again, and hit OK. And there's our red. 
So the eyebrows and eyes, I just want to be black. So extrude one millimeter new component and black. So now we can go ahead and color it. We can hide the sketch, make sure we're not missing anything. That's what I like to do before I color is if I hide the sketch and then I see if there's any gaps. All right, so now we can hit A on our keyboard for the appearance. And like I did before, I like to choose ABS. Edit, white, and we'll put that on the white part. Duplicate, edit, black. So I'm gonna have the back actually be black. And there. And then duplicate, edit, red. And we'll do red here. And duplicate, edit, brown. Mm. It's not really brown, but we get the idea here. So if we liked, we could even do this is what I was talking about with the black the back so now we have just our solid gingerbread and we can hit close now that we have our gingerbread made uh, we can go ahead and place the magnet so what I like to do is click on the back go up to here to create sketch from here we're gonna do the circle tool and we're gonna pick the center part or the part that we can do our circle so this is about center here so I'm gonna click drag out a little and type in 20 Hit enter on my keyboard, uh, and there's my sketch for my extrude of my magnet. Now, if we didn't like this, we could simply click the white dot and move it around. But I like the placement of this if it's perfect. So what we're going to do is hit finish sketch. Click on our circle, extrude, and we need to do negative three because our magnet's three millimeters deep. Now, my magnets are technically a little shy of 20 millimeters, so that's fine. I can stick them in there, and what I actually do is hot glue them into place. So we're going to hit OK for end cut, and there we go. There's our hole for our magnet. And then what we can do is go over here to unsave, right-click export, step file, and we can name it whatever you want. hit export and it's going to my downloads folder go ahead and open up bamboo slicer and we're going to go ahead and drag in that step file perfect and from here what I can always do is resize it so I can move it make it deep uh, you know taller or whatnot I actually like the size of that that's a decent sized magnet so what I can do is go over to objects here, fridge, magnet, and I can start coloring everything. So five I have loaded as brown, make everything five. And then from here I can do white, red, and black. And there you go, and there it's sized. And if we go ahead and go to global, Everything I pretty much make in Fusion is a standard 0 0.2, uh, 20 millimeter, 0 0.20 millimeter standard profile, except for the light boxes. Uh, and we go ahead and hit slice plate. From here, we can see it actually looks really good. And one thing I can tell we already forgot is we need to click on the uh, the step file, do place on face, do the front, hit slice plate, and there we go. And that is our fridge magnet. Once it prints, then I can go ahead and select, uh, place the magnet in there with some uh, hot glue, super glue. I prefer hot glue, super glue acts a little weird with the 3D print material. And uh, fridge magnet will work. So at the end of this video, I'll go ahead and post a photo of what the uh, magnet looks like. And in the video description will be a link to this magnet that you can actually download from Maker World. And it helps me out. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. And uh, subscribe for more. Thank you.